That race was definitely living La Vida Loca, just like it always is at Daytona and Talladega for restrictor plate racing. So first off, shout out to the GOAT of NBC Sports, Kelly Staffis, for doing an incredible job on the pit wagon, both during the race and host hosting the pre-race show. This is why you're my favorite NBC reporter, both currently and all time, and favorite NBC analyst. As for Austin, um, we gave it our best, you know, as Minty Matson would say on Coop and Cammy when Reese Caudel did the show in that role before book booking all that on Nickelodeon in 2019. We tried our best, and that's what matters. There's always next year, but just unlike any other sport, like unlike the NBA or the NFL, NHL, MLB, unlike the four majors, and NASCAR, whether you're in the playoffs or not, you still get to be on the track, and as an Austin fan, I'm thankful for that. And also, the only thing I'm going to say tonight is because, you know, this I just want to get this quick race reaction out of the way. That way, we don't have to worry about making a long one on Monday considering how tired we're going to be after Cedar Point tomorrow. It's like we cannot go one single restrictor plate race, at least in Winston Cup, without a big wreck, a scary wreck, or both happening on the last lap. You know, we saw that on my birthday, the day before the Daytona, well, no, no, no. I got backwards from. We saw that on, on the, in the Daytona 500, the day before my birthday, going into my birthday overnight, and we saw it again tonight in the Firecracker 400. But nonetheless, no matter the package, this race was exciting as hell. It was still, I mean, the overall, you know, racing was ex as, as exciting as hell. This is why I love restrictor plate racing. No matter what happens or no matter who wins, you know, no matter who, what, when, and where, restrictor plate racing is goaded. So, Cedar Point tomorrow. I will see you all throughout coming and going into this week. You know, I'll be recording the Cedar Point vlog tomorrow that you'll be seeing on Monday instead. And Tuesday, I'll try to figure something out. Maybe I'll move Garra Acción y Sudor from Wednesday to Tuesday. So, I might move my upload schedule up. So, have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Good night. Let's rock this chase for the cup like Rob Riggle the next 10 weeks, especially these next three races that are night races.